Watch this. Watch this. Serve the law with fear. But they but they're they not afraid of God. That's why judgment is here and they're not changing. Because they're not afraid. You're not afraid of the one that made heaven and earth. That made the wind, that made the star, that made the cloud, that made the you're not afraid? You're not afraid of the one that sent a virus that you can't even control, you can't even figure out how it's transmitted. Somebody say they found out it's not in food. You don't know that. That's just an assumption. Hallelujah. You don't know how it transmitted. It trans oh hallelujah. You say it's transmitted through people's saliva and their droplets and stuff. You don't know. Because we all done felt people droplets that had the corona and we didn't catch it because God didn't want you to catch it. Oh hallelujah. They, they said, Y'all don't know. God said, What's wrong with y'all? When y'all gonna tell, when y'all gonna tell me, Lord. When y'all gonna say, Lord, I know you to, when y'all gonna give me some, when y'all gonna get afraid of me? I don't understand. <laughs> I remember Katrina. When Katrina came. See, if people don't pay attention to this. When Katrina came, they were getting ready to have the biggest bag party they've ever had. And God flooded them out. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, I said fag. The biggest fag party. That's how much God hate that junk. He don't hate the people, but he don't like what you're doing. He don't hate us, but he don't like the way we're living. When they had that party, the river kept, the lake or whatever, kept rising. And they kept playing it. And so when they wouldn't stop, he just flooded. Look what he did, because he got mad. Now, I told my wife, I said, God did that, because they were dying to get ready to have a party. God said, I'm sick of that stuff. Two, two years later, whatever it was, they went to have another party. And the river started rising. And the more they planned, the more the river rose. When they canceled the party, the river disappeared. And they still said it was the devil. Y'all don't get it? What do I have to do? I run this show. But y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. We y'all give God the glory. God said when y'all acknowledge who I, when y'all get afraid of me, listen, saints, the reason y'all can't get right in your life, y'all are not afraid of God. When you start to fear God, you will straighten up. Oh, hallelujah. Sin, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice. Why right did Rejoice with trembling. That meaning you're afraid of them, but you're happy, but you're shaking in your boots. God said, that's the way I want you. Somebody said, well, I don't want to serve a God. I got to be afraid of. Well, go to hell then. You got that's your choice. Go on to hell. You don't have to do it, but I'm, I'm one that's going to serve him with fear, and I'm going to rejoice in my trembling. What are you saying? I'm going to rejoice because I know God can kill me, but he didn't. I'm going to rejoice because I know I should have been dead, but I'm not. I'm going to rejoice the fact that he protect me when I know he can lead me. I'm going to rejoice because I know who's running the show. All I got to do is mess up the wrong time, the wrong day. He get mad, and I'm out of here. So yes, oh hallelujah, yes, I'm going to walk in fear. Yes, I'm going to be trembling. But in the midst of my fear, in the midst of my trembling, I'm going to rejoice. Because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I know where I would be. Hallelujah. So yes, I'm going to praise him, even though I'm afraid of him. And when you get, when you, when you fall in love with the, the, the fear turns to reverence. Then you begin to say, I ain't doing that. God ain't getting me. I ain't doing that. I ain't messing with another man's wife, but God gonna get me. I, uh, that's fear. But I'm rejoicing the fact that I'm afraid of him. I'm trembling for the fact that I know, hey, if I go over there across that street, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to rejoice because I'm not dying. Hallelujah. I'm going to rejoice the fact that I'm not going to hate nobody because I know that God said, John, if you don't forgive him, I'm not going to forgive you. So I'm scared not to forgive you. Because you wonder, you wonder why I forgive you so fast because I'm shaking in my boots. Hallelujah. You wonder why I don't, I don't hold nothing against people because I don't want nothing held against me because I'm afraid. Oh, hallelujah. Because I know, but I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing. Because I know, watch this, watch this. What makes me rejoice is that because I forgive you, I can mess up and God will forgive me. 
I'm afraid not to forgive you, and I'm glad I do forgive you because of the oh holly, because of the repercussion of forgiving you. Oh hallelujah. Thank you, Je hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad I'm afraid to commit adultery because I'm afraid that my wife might commit adultery. Because he said you're gonna reap what you sow. So if I sow adultery, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. For the, oh, glory, y'all just don't get what I'm saying. So I got to keep my life perfect because I'm afraid of it messing up. I, if I don't mess up, my life won't mess up because God is going to take care of me. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. He said, he said, serve me with fear and rejoice with trembling. Why can't you rejoice? Everything I tell you to do is for your benefit, but it can also be to your destruction. I'm letting you know. You reap what you sow. You want to sow evil? I'm going to send it back to you. I don't want no evil. Listen, hallelujah. And if it does come, I know it's coming for a reason because something is wrong with me. So God is pulling it out. So I don't have to worry about, did I mistreat somebody? I got to count it all joy. Hallelujah. When I fall into divers till I got to know it's for my good. Oh, hallelujah. Serve the Lord with fear. Verse 12, he said, kiss the son. Kiss the son. Kiss the son. Call on Jesus. Hug on Jesus. Okay, I'm not silly now. Hug Jesus. He said, kiss the son. When you're talking about kissing, and look how close you got to get. When you're talking about kissing Jesus, look how close you have to be. When you're talking about kissing Jesus, look, wait a minute. Look, can anybody walk up to you and kiss you? Can you all walk up to you some more and kiss you? For somebody to kiss you, then you got to know them, don't you? Oh, y'all don't get what I'm saying. Misha, can't know anybody walk up to you and kiss you. But if they kiss you, you got to know them right. You got to trust them right. They got to prove themselves right. You got to know there ain't no alternative motive. Hallelujah. Listen, the only way you're going to kiss Jesus, you got to know him. He's got to trust you. You got to depend on him. He has to depend on you. Otherwise, you can't kiss him. In other words, you got to, oh my Lord, hallelujah, you got to get close to him and you got to stay close to him. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Hallelujah. That means y'all kiss anybody. Jesus don't kiss anybody. Jesus only kiss them that hang out with my glory. Hallelujah. Jesus only going to kiss them that he trusts. Jesus is only going to let you kiss him if you're close to him. Ooh, hallelujah. He said, kiss the sun. Kiss the sun. You got to get caught. Oh, hallelujah. 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 You can't kiss him if you're not close to him. You can't get close to him without obeying him. Listen, Hallelujah. Most women in here, uh, let me uh, y'all will let me kiss you on the cheek. Would y'all let all of these brothers kiss you on the cheek? Nope. Nope. Y'all don't trust them. Don't trust them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust them. Pastor, do it. It's no big deal. I trust Pastor. I, I don't trust that brother right there. Hallelujah. Listen, that's the, oh, hallelujah. That's the way Jesus did. He said, I don't trust all of y'all. Just because y'all coming in and holler, hallelujah. Jesus said, I don't mean I trust you. Just thought you come in here and say, thank you, Jesus. That don't mean I trust you. Listen, I, 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 I haven't seen you in two weeks. You ain't talked to me in 30 days, and now you think you're going to walk up? Hmm. Don't work like that. Kiss the sun. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kiss the sun, Mother Johnson. I mean, you better hang out with him. You better be close to him. You better stay close to him. You better know when he's talking. You better trust that. Listen, otherwise, he ain't going to let you kiss him. You go to kiss him, he's going to turn. He's going to turn. Hallelujah. He going to turn. Oh, hallelujah. You ever had to, you ever tried to kiss somebody you like and they didn't like you and they turn? <laughs> hallelujah. You ever had that happen, Caleb? Boy, go to kiss you. You're like, what you doing? I don't know you. Holly, that's what Jesus is going to do. That's what Jesus is doing to a lot of y'all. That's why y'all can't get nothing from him. Y'all think y'all close. He let you know you ain't that close to me. What, what's, the, what's the phrase? I don't know you. Ain't that's what he's going to say? Many going to come to me in that day. 
trying to hug him and get in the game. He, oh, I don't know you. Who are you? Who I don't know you. Who on, read. He said, kiss the son, lest he be angry. Hmm. Jesus said, Beverly, if you can't kiss me, I mean, I don't like you. I got a pride. I got an attitude with you. I don't like you. I'm angry with you. Who are you? Who told you you can get that close to me? You ain't talked to me in two weeks and all of a sudden now. Ignore Nina for two weeks and ask for a kiss. Watch what she tell you. Who, who are you? Get away from me. What you kissing on me? You been ignoring me for two. And now all of a sudden, lest he be angry with you. He said, listen, y'all want to get close to me and you think, you think that I ought to just hug you every time? He said, it doesn't work like that. He said, what's wrong with you, kings? Oh, here's a good one. Look how many people ran to Jesus on 9-11. Look where they at now. You wonder why they didn't get no help? Because he just ignored them. Like, I don't know you. All of a sudden, because it's 9-11, and I sent some people and bombed the daylights at you, now you think I deserve to hug you? No, I'm not going to hug you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But if they had a kept hugging him, all through from that point on, things would be different. Hallelujah. Look how many people, watch this. Look how many people ran to Jesus when the COVID-19 came out. Wow. Look how many ran. Hallelujah. How many people didn't? I know we don't have the following that we used to have when COVID-19 came out. Because they done went back to doing what they used to do and they think it ain't no big deal. But the virus is still here. Just because the media is not telling y'all folks are still dying. Just like they've always died. Listen, y'all getting immune to death. There's a scripture in, the, in, in, in Revelation that say mankind is going to get immune to death. Then y'all going to get used to seeing dead bodies. Listen, you already there. We are used to seeing and hearing about death till there's no big deal. Why? Because judgment is in the land and you rascals won't repent. But I got something for you. I'm going to come up with another virus. I gave y'all AIDS. That didn't make y'all stay out of them bedrooms. Hallelujah. Now I done gave you COVID-19. That ain't made you do right. I got something else for you. Because judgment... Y'all talk about plagues. God say, I got some plagues for you. I got some plagues that's going to make you either die or repent. Hallelujah. But why don't you just get some sense? Kiss the son. Hallelujah. Lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. He said, if y'all don't get close enough to me and stay close to me, well, I will let you kiss me. I'm going to kill you. Just It's just that simple. Because if I can't, if you don't kiss me, I'm going to be angry. And if I'm angry, I'm going to let you perish. Again, who do you let kiss you? You let strangers walk up and kiss you? Or people that you know or think you know kiss you? You don't let everybody kiss you. And you, you married women, y'all know y'all don't let nobody kiss on you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Y'all don't want, and men, y'all know y'all don't want nobody kissing on you but a woman. Hallelujah. But it's amazing. Oh, glory, hallelujah. When you get close to Christ, it doesn't bother you. Why? Because you know that if that man kiss you on the cheek, you know he ain't funny. What am I saying? Kiss the son. That ain't just for women, that's for men. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled. Wait a minute. But a little. This is this is what we are going through. What what time is it? 11.41. 11.41. Good. Listen. This is a little wrath. This is little. Supposing, supposing, suppose, oh glory, hallelujah. Supposing God would decide to kill people. Supposing God decided to kill people like he did in Egypt. Suppose he decided to take out the firstborn. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. Now y'all wouldn't be sitting here. Now y'all be dead. You know that, right? Hallelujah. But watch this. He said, I'm only mad a little, but look how many folks I'm killing. I'm only mad a little bit, and look how I'm wiping folks out. 
I'm killing folks with COVID-19. I'm killing folks in car accidents. I'm killing folks, folks that y'all cherish and love in, 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 in helicopters. I'm killing folks with drugs. I'm killing folks with high blood pressure. I'm killing folks with AIDS. I'm killing folks with cancer. A lot of them dying. I'm killing folks with tuberculosis. I'm killing folks that diabetic. I'm, I'm killing folks. And I'm just a little angry. Just a little bit. I ain't real angry yet. Oh, Holly. Because when I get angry, I'm going to have beasts coming up out the ground, snatching you and killing you. When I get angry, I'm going to have stuff coming out the ocean, coming out the sea. Listen, hallelujah, talking about revelation. When I get, when I get, ooh, when I get fired up, I'm going to show you how I know how to kill for old glory. Hallelujah. God said, and y'all still, judgment is here, and y'all still won't repent. Verse 10, read that first the statement. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Get some help. Get some help. And the only person who can help us is Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, get some help. Listen, saints. Listen, saints. Get some help. Get some help. Be wise and get some help. Be wise and come to church and find out what to do. Be wise and come, keep coming to church and find. Be wise and ask God for some direction. Be wise and listen to your pastor. Be wise and do what God tell. It's in hallelujah. Be wise. Be wise and get some what? Get 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 some instruction. Be instructed. Let somebody tell you you don't know what to do. Young people, how you going to say your mama and or daddy don't know what they're doing and they taking care of you? You ain't living in that house because you provide everything. You're not able to go in the kitchen and get something to drink sweet, something to drink water. You can walk in and get tea. Ain't nobody telling you to come out the kitchen. But your parents ain't got no sense. And all of y'all that they become 24, 25 and got your own apartment. How you going to tell your parents they don't know what they're doing? They bought your car. They paid your insurance. And some of y'all, they still paying your cell phone bill. But they don't know nothing? Come on, stop being ignorant. To me, they don't know nothing. They don't understand. They house you. For 22, 23, 24 years, but they don't know how to help you survive. What are you talking about? Be wise. Get some instructions. You don't know what grocery to put in your house. Talk to your mama or your daddy. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to choose no boyfriend or girlfriend. A good whore. Let you think on that. Young people, some of y'all parents, y'all got good ex whores for parents. We know what boy, what girl to mess with. But y'all think we don't know what we're talking about? Hallelujah. Got babies everywhere, but I don't know what I'm talking about, huh? So I don't know how to choose a woman. I don't know how to choose a woman, huh? I got babies by two that I know of. Actually, three. The other one won't give me claim to it. That's okay. Them just the three I know about. Them just the three I know. But I don't know how to choose a woman. <laughs> Chose one that took my firstborn and disappeared. Because she mad at me. Chose another one because she just used me for a sperm bank. Disappeared. I chose another one because I didn't make enough money. Disappeared. Then I chose the last one. Because I didn't choose the last one. Oh, y'all don't get what I'm God chose the last one. Because the one I chose, none of them worked out. And those are just the ones I can tell you about that I left a baby behind. Oh, hallelujah. But I got one. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. So don't tell me I don't know how to choose a woman. Because I don't know. But I know who do know how to choose. So why don't you follow some instructions? And y'all act like we as parents don't know nothing. 
Now, we act like God don't know nothing. God don't understand what I'm going through. <laughs> See, when you think, that don't even make sense. God, but you you calling on him for everything, but he don't understand. God said, why don't you get some instructions? Why don't you come to church and let me tell you how to do this thing? Oh, hallelujah. Listen, young people, when I tell y'all don't get with no boyfriend or girl until you're 25 with a college degree with a job, listen, listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. And the person better be saved. I don't care how fine that mama is. She ain't saved. You ain't for some trouble. Oh, hallelujah. Kiss the son. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled. But a little. Listen, hallelujah. God said, now I'm only mad a little bit. Well, you could have fooled me, Lord. <laughs> but he said, this is, this is just a little bit. Look at all the ways that people die. Just look. Come on, read. What else he said? Bless. 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 Happy. 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 All y'all that's saved, want to be saved, trying to get saved. Are you happy, sir? Hallelujah. Are you happy serving God? I'm glad I see all of you all here. And I see some of you all are coming back and you're coming back faithfully and you're coming back. Listen, you're coming back with, 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 with some uh, uh, with a uh, tenacious, tenacious, tenacious attitude. Y'all coming back with some strength. I'm glad to see that. Listen, stick with Jesus, man. I don't care what kind of sin you committed last night, yesterday, all week. Let me tell you something. If you like doing that, keep on doing it. Keep on coming to church, though. I guarantee you, I'm going to preach it out of you. Guarantee you, I'm going to have you in a position that when you think about doing that sin, you're going to hear me saying, stop sinning. You're going to hear my voice, and you're going to go, man. man huh, huh. And then after a while, what the Bible says, the way of a transgressor is hard. You might go on and do it, but I guarantee you, every time you hear my voice say stop, after a while, you say, I ain't doing that no more. I'm tired of hearing Pastor Boyd. But you don't hear, you hear Jesus' voice. It just sounds like me. But it ain't me talking. It's the word of, oh, hallelujah. Why don't, why don't you want to hear? Bless, happy you will be. Happy you, listen, happy you will be. Everybody else running around? Let me, let me say this. For all of y'all that are in the house, with someone that's not saved, whether it be spouse or children, uncle, mama, cousin, whoever, daddy, whatever. Listen, I know it gets hard for you in the house because you don't have nobody you can reach out to when you want to have a conversation about the goodness of Jesus. I got that. But let me tell you something. Look at it. You still happy, but look at the rest of them. They're running around frantic. They're afraid. They, 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 they're afraid to let people in the house. Hey, everybody got COVID. Don't let them in here. I ain't let them in. Listen, listen. Everybody got it. You ain't got it, you're going to get it. Hallelujah. But it's only going to affect you if God say so. It only, I'm not saying go out and disobey the laws of the land, but I'm just saying, don't you be running around all afraid. Hallelujah. I went to the store. I went to Jeremiah's store. Bed, bath, and be young. Y'all go shop at his store so they can, he can keep his job. Yes. Amen. Yes. But anyway, I went to Bed, bath, and be young. And, and, you know, Jeremiah was at work, right? So I get in line about right here. And, the, and the, whatever the six, six feet is at somewhere, Jeremiah is over here at the register, right? So when I walk up, I didn't pay no attention. The lady was standing there. I just knew somebody was standing there. And uh, she's standing there, and I'm saying something to Jeremiah, whatever we were saying. But I was, uh, now say this is my spot. I was like this. And I'm talking to Jeremiah. Then I just happened to look up, and I looked at the spot, and I looked at my spot, and I did. The lady said, thank you. I said, okay. <laughs> you that afraid, huh? Then she goes to my son. Remember I said, John Portis, Went down in the water, but JP held his breath. Right? Y'all with me? She's going to my son. I told my wife, 
JP would say, hey, you afraid of me? That's my son you going over there, and you're going to be right up on his face. What am I saying? Y'all running with these six feet and y'all walk wild up on the register. Hallelujah. And wait a minute. Not only that, she got this close to the lady helping her in the store. But you can't get that close to me. Do I look like Corona or something? Do I look like I got it? Do I sound? Listen, what am I saying? Y'all are acting too foolish over this virus. All you got to do is obey the law and trust in you. You will be Now stop being afraid of every I listen, I'm afraid God. of Jesus. I'm a, and if I die with the virus, praise the Lord and hallelujah. I'm going to heaven. And y'all got to deal with all of this junk. I'm gone. Listen, me dying with the virus when I know I obeyed the laws of the land, that's God bringing me home. What do you say? It's time for us to get some sense. Hallelujah. Go in this store and touch everything. And y'all think because y'all walk to the car and you put some stuff on your hand before you touch your steering wheel, but the whole while you was in the store, you was, I don't know if I should buy this. You know, maybe, you know, you did all of this. <laughs> Somebody, I ain't gonna say because I don't want to embarrass nobody. What did the brother say when he walked into the white house? His wife sprayed him with. <laughs> now, now you know why she was spraying you with lights on, because it was all over your clothes. Now, so he, he, you get sprayed. What am I saying, man? Listen, just obey the law of the wind. Listen, wash your hand, put on the mask, and do and just. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I'm, I'm keep bringing about this because this is the new uh, uh, what was the uh, phrase he said something here this is the new disease he vexed us with and folks still won't give God the glory still won't give God the glory hallelujah thank you Jesus my wife out shopping and come home she done touched her face after touching them clothes she ain't put no uh, what is it it's hand sanitizer. She walk in the door and I missed her and I kiss her on the neck. I kiss her on the neck, but she put her hand out to touching them clothes. Right? And then she kissed me back. Hmm. So if we, if we wasn't a, are we going to catch the virus? We got it already. Hallelujah. We are immune. Y'all don't believe that. Ain't no need of me preaching that. Bless. I'm talking about happy. Happy, what are they that put their trust in Jesus? Listen, I'm glad y'all come here and keep your mask on. Because I'm going to tell you to keep your mask on. Amen? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to work hard at putting on a mask when I talk to y'all. Amen? Because I know I spit a lot. Amen? I know that. Nobody got to tell me. I see it flying all the time. Amen? You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm to I'm I'm work hard. I got one in my shirt pocket. See, when y'all come up, I'm going to put the mask on. Amen. I got, I, got, I got one in every vehicle I drive, a box of them. Because I forget to carry them fancy ones around. Amen. But I got a mask. But guess what? I'm doing this called the law of the land. And I can't go in there and get me no burrito if I don't put it on. So I'm going I'm to put the mask on. Amen. <laughs> But I don't believe this stopping me from getting the virus. Jesus is doing that. Hallelujah. Because I ain't afraid. I'm not, listen, listen, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not afraid of getting dead. I'm not afraid of having breathing problems. I'm not afraid because I've heard Jesus say, John, no weapon formed against you is going to win. If it kill you, John, it didn't win. That was your ticket out of here. Hallelujah. And if it ain't your time to die, it won't kill you. So what's the beef, Chief? What's the beef? What are you afraid of? It's time for us to get some sense. So he told the kings, why don't you get instructed? Judgment is in the land. 
And y'all, we need to repent. We need some instructions. This is where you get your instructions from. Sunday morning, Sunday school. I would love to see this at Sunday school. See, the people that come to Sunday school on Sunday morning, they walk away full. They walk away full. All y'all that come for morning service, y'all get a good meal, but y'all don't walk away full. You can, you can walk away full or you can just walk away satisfied. I, will, I like, listen, when I go to church, I want to leave full. I don't want to be just satisfied. I want to be full. Hallelujah. Because listen, hallelujah. My old evil thinking and evil flesh going to eat that food, absorb it. Y'all don't get it. Amen. I'm going to absorb that. Listen, listen. When I walk away full, it'll hold me till Wednesday. But if I just walk away satisfied, I'm going to be messed up Tuesday night. Amen, son. Hallelujah. Maybe, maybe y'all can y'all can do good for three days being satisfied. I can't. I gotta be full. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't come down till Monday morning. So I'm good all day on Sunday. By the time I come down, now I listen to myself. Or I go listen to the word and remind everything that I didn't hear good or miss. So I listen to it. So I'm good on Monday. I wake up on Tuesday. I'm still good. Now I'm ready to go to lunch again on Wednesday. Lunch is, Wednesday's lunch. Sunday, oh, glory, hallelujah. Sunday is breakfast and dinner. Oh, hot, oh, thank you, Jesus. What are you saying, John? Listen, get time for us to be instructed. Take what you hear today. Take what you hear and apply it in your life. Amen. Verse 1, chapter 2, uh, Psalm 2. I'm almost finished. I'm right in an hour, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two minutes before or after? Two minutes before. Two minutes before, I'm good. I'm good for at least ten after. Come on. Verse one say what? Why do heathen rage? Why do why do people why do somebody lose their job? Why you get all sad over losing a job? That's the first job you ever lost? Did you die? But maybe you died. Before you got that second job, and that second job brought you back to life. Amen. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, so you can't waste no money for a while. What's the problem? But you won't listen to your parents. You won't listen to anybody that give you instructions. You're going to lose another job. You think that's the only job you're going to lose? Do y'all know the average number of people that work on the same job 40, 45 years is very minimal compared to the number of people that's on this earth? Hallelujah. This is the longest job I've ever had. The only job I done went 20 years on. Hallelujah. Working on 21. What, what did I preach about what, a couple of weeks ago? Listen, I got a good retirement package waiting on me. I've invested in heaven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So why y'all raging? Why y'all getting upset? Why y'all got a bad disposition and attitude? You can't say hi to folks because you can't bring home no money no more on a regular basis. So that messes your life up. So now you can't be saved. That's why I don't like when people tell you ain't gonna be happy all the way. Well, I'm teaching, I'm teaching you you can. I've been out of a job and still happy. Been out of a bunch of jobs and been happy. Amen. He said, and the people. Y'all imagine vain stuff. Just imagine you came to church today and you sad, mad, upset, disappointed, and you could barely be loving. And the rapture take place right now. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? See, it's vain. You came here all been out of shape over something that's nothing and you want, and you want to go to heaven with me. You want to go to you want to go to the heaven where Jesus is at. It's time, verse ten. Be wise now, therefore, O saints. Be instructed. Get some help. I ain't talking about no psychiatrist. I ain't talking about no psychologist. I'm not talking about Doctor Kill there. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about going to somebody that don't know nothing about Jesus. 
You need to go, and as I preached this morning in Sunday school, you don't need to go to no ungodly person. You don't need to go to no sinner. If you can't go to a righteous person for help, listen, then you just don't do, you're doing good. You can do, I would just say, you can do bad all by yourself. You don't need nobody to help you do bad. You need somebody to help you come out of your bad and put you in good. Hallelujah. So you can do bad all by yourself. Hallelujah. So if you're going to serve God, listen, judgment is in the land. Judgment is in the land. Can I say that again? Come on, ministers. Judgment is in the land. Y'all have your shields and gloves and masks and all that stuff, right? Remember I told you, we're going to do altar call every Sunday. Amen. And I told you, everybody come up. You're going to get your temperature. Check the minister temperature. Check everybody's temperature. If you're hot from the sun, you won't have a temperature. Amen. Listen, judgment is in the land. Judgment is in the land. It's time for us to repent. And I know, as I said, most of us in here got the Holy Ghost. I got that. But it's time for you to come up and stop bucking. It's, stop bucking against the instructions from God. We need these instructions. We need this help. We need this guidance. We need these instructions to help us get right. So judgment is in the land. It's time for us to repent. It's time to us. Hallelujah. It's stop being afraid of the world and be afraid of God. Uh, what the scripture says, he made a decree. God has set a decree that if you come to Jesus, he will help you. God made a decree. Now Jesus said, don't expect me to kiss you and I don't know you. Don't expect me to kiss you and you only come to me when you're having a bad time because I'm not going to let you kiss me. What, what that means, God, God ain't quick to answer your prayer every time you show up. Especially, especially if you got the Holy Ghost and baptism and not living right. Hallelujah. God is only going to help those that are living right. Hallelujah. Remember, I just give them Wipe their foreheads or something if they sweating. Amen. Give them a Kleenex when they come up and let them wash their forehead. They shouldn't be sweating. You're sitting in cool breeze. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Sister Nina. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, let's just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. You don't have to, if you're afraid, please don't come up for prayer. Or if you're afraid and don't want to be afraid, then you come up for prayer. And let God help you out of this fear. Let God get you out of this fear. Told you, my, my dentist, she got on a mask and a shield and she be all up in my mouth. Whole lot of droplets. Whole lot of spit. And she sitting there with gloves on, cleaning my teeth. Hallelujah. Getting all of the corona from between my teeth. And she ain't scared. Hallelujah. What I'm saying, I believe it works. I believe it works because I know we got Jesus. Seniors, don't y'all get up. Just wave your hand if you want prayer, and they'll come to you. Where's Mother Johnson? Come on back over here and sit down, Mother Johnson. They'll come to you. Listen, hallelujah. It's time for us to realize who we serve. Worship him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, worship him. Bow down and worship Him. Worship Him. Yes, Lord. Oh, worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. Enter in. Oh, enter in. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence fills this room. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence fills this room. Room. So come and bow, bow down, so come and bow, bow down, bow down and worship him, worship him. 
worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. Enter in. Oh, enter in.
worship him. Bow down and worship him.
Everybody, please stand. Wasn't service wonderful today? Amen. From Sunday school on. Amen. Amen. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. Amen. Let's just make sure we take this word that we had today and put it in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Because God is coming back. We don't know when that is, and we surely don't know when we're going to die. Amen.